Breaks, it's Brickley here, and welcome to episode 21 of Building Mordor in Lego. And in the thumbnail, you saw that I have a lot of epic packages to unbox, and that's actually true. I got a lot of Bricklink orders which came in the past week. This is actually one week worth of saving Lego packages. And I gotta say that I'm really happy with the end result. I think it's quite satisfying to look at all of these packages piled up right here. But if you are enjoying my Building Mordor in Lego series, of course, let me know by leaving a thumbs up to support this video. Go subscribe to Brickly if you are new to my channel. Hashtag Team Brickly. We are well over 4,000 subscribers right now. So just go hit that subscribe button. Let's go to 5,000 subscribers next. Road to 5K subscribers. So that's just going to be epic. I can't wait to reach that subscriber goal. I'm really thankful for all of you hitting that subscribe button. And of course, ring that notification bell to stay updated. I want to post any Lego videos. You can, of course, click the card in the top right corner of the screen to save the playlist, which I manually add all of the episodes of Building Mordor in Lego. So you can actually watch all of the episodes in order and see how how I built all of this right over here. So go click the card on the top right corner of the screen to save that playlist. And I'm just gonna go and cut right to, of course, unboxing these packages, but I wanna show you how many packages actually came in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. Nine packages from Bricklink. These are all from Bricklink. I actually ordered all of these from Bricklink and it's really just an easy website to buy all of your pieces from. And if you haven't seen my Bricklink tutorial within my Building Mordor in Lego series in which I actually show you where I actually get all of my parts and how I get them, I suggest you go and click the card on the top right corner of the screen to watch that video for an awesome and easy tutorial to get some Bricklink pieces. But yeah, let's go ahead and just start unboxing these packages. So the first package I have right here is just a light small package, which I'm just gonna go and wrap open on the top over here. Let me see, I'm gonna cut this open. Just apply a little bit of strength over here. And let's see what's inside over here. I'm actually quite curious to know. We got four bags filled with Lego, and I believe that's it. Yeah, just gonna go and put the package in my box so I actually can reuse that sort of packaging material for, of course, sending some giveaway stuff in the future. But over here, I got a lot of these black spikes, and I actually ran out on these. I had to get a couple more for my black gate. And I don't know if you could see it, but these pieces are actually a little bit dusted. I see a little bit of co collection of dust on these pieces, which I definitely need to remove with uh, washing it with water, of course. So I'm just going to go and do that later. But I got a couple of these pieces right here. Then I got these two by four bricks. I don't know why I ordered so few of these pieces, probably because it was in my wanted list and I auto selected all of the parts. I got a lot of these sort of spikes over here. And these are also really useful for building Mordor. I believe you actually got these spikes in gold with, of course, the Lego Ninjago spinners back in 2011, 2012. And I got four of these uh, dark uh, pearl, actually pearl gray swords over here for, of course, my Minas Morgul mock. Also looking forward to that. Now we got another package right over here. This is made of cardboard. I'm just going to go and open it right over here on the side. I actually can just open it like this. And I'm really curious to know what's inside over here. So a lot of epic stuff, which I'm just going to go and show you. So actually, let me see here. I got a couple of these, actually two bags, just two bags filled with these one by two inverted slopes. And all of these pieces are for building Mordor in Lego because I ran out of these pieces. So I got well over 100 of these pieces, which are definitely going to 
be useful for building the rock work of the black gate mock really looking forward to using all of these pieces so i'm just going to go and put all of these parts on that side of the table and then we got this package right here just going to go and open this side by cutting it a little bit loose just going to go and wrap this open and i really get a lot of these type of packages they're quite easy to open in comparison to other packages so that's something nice just gonna go and grab the contents and I believe that was it yes also gonna reuse this package in the future but this package is really packed well so I got a lot let me see here let's just open this plastic bag and get all of the contents out I got a lot of these spikes over here again the 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 let me see here we got these black spikes of course for the black gate and i think these are really useful and in comparison to the other ones these aren't really uh, engraved with a lot of dust so i don't have to wash these then we got these two by four wedge plates in a dark bluish gray color useful for building and finishing off the landscaping finally just gonna go and get the plastic to the side I got a lot of these one by two jumper plates in black color for, of course, the towers of the black gate. Also really useful pieces. And I got a couple of these bigger wedge plates in dark bluish gray color. And finally, in this package, I got two of these bags. I actually got this bag with the one by two dark bluish gray plates. And then I got this bag right here with one one by three dark bluish gray plate and then I also got these flags over here for my Mordor orc army which is definitely going to be something amazing for of course uh, sort of showing that they are orcs from Mordor so I got a couple of these banners and I believe the other packages also have a couple of these but I'm really looking forward to just setting up the entire army with these banners and then finally actually this small package over here i just already wrapped it open so i'm just gonna go and get the contents out and i believe that was it yeah let me see what's inside here i believe this is just a, a regular bag filled with these one by two dark bluish gray bricks so i got an entire bag filled with these pieces these are useful for building anything concerned concerned with of course the black gate mock so i can build rock work landscaping and even the black gate itself with this so these pieces are really going to come in handy while finishing off the rock work and the landscaping so really looking forward to using all of these parts so right now I'm just going to go and sort all of these pieces. So we got the wedge plates right over here. I'm going to go and put the slopes on this corner. Just the black pieces right over here. And I got a couple of weapons over here. And then of course these bricks and plates are going to be placed right here. So I actually sorted all of the parts so I can actually identify which pieces I'm going to use for my mock after unboxing all of the Lego. Then we're going to go and continue to a bigger package. So I've actually unboxed four packages so far. This is going to be the fifth package from Vivid Bricks on Bricklink. Really nice sort of packaging material with the, the logo of Vivid Bricks. So that's really something to sort of uh, have a little bit of commercial for yourself, of course. Let me see here what's inside gonna go and cut the side open and of course the other side over here as well yeah that's the, the only downside to packages when they use these sort of sealing uh, plastic wraps on of course all around the, the box they actually tend to come loose a little bit harder than just regular packaging material so just gonna go and grab everything and get it out of the box and this box is actually filled with a lot more parts in comparison to the smaller packages so let's just go and take a look at what's inside over here so i got a bag filled with these dark bluish gray wedge plates and these are actually the, the let me see here the three by six wedge plates so really useful pieces they are pointing to the left then I got another bag over here with the, let me see here, these are actually the 3x3 
three by eight wedge plates, and these are also pointing to the left over here. Also useful pieces for finishing off the landscaping. As I said, I had a couple of orders coming in, and these are the orders which I was, was actually waiting for. And I got a couple more of these three by eight wedge plates in dark bluish gray color, but these are actually pointing to the right. So that's really something keep in mind when you're building wedge plates these are actually sort of pointing to one side so when you're using this within landscaping you got to sort of mix it up a bit to really have a nice natural effect in your landscaping and rock work then finally over here we actually got this bag filled with these flag poles over here a lot of those really useful parts and then this bag is actually filled up with a couple of these wedge plates of course the three by eight pointing to the left as well gonna go and place those parts right over there then i got this bag which is filled with a lot of useful pieces this bag is actually filled with the one by four dark bluish gray plates i was desperately in need of these pieces as i showed you in the previous episode of building mordor in lego so i'm really happy that i got these pieces then I got this bag right over here filled with the, I believe these are two by two by three wedge plates in dark bluish gray color pointing to the left. So really useful pieces. Then I got this bag over here filled with the, actually, wait, let me see here. These are pointing to the left. Yeah, all are pointing to the left. And this bag is actually quite interesting because it's filled with two different type of wedge plates. I got the, the let me see here, two by four wedge plates in dark bluish gray color pointing to the right and to the left on this side. So also a diverse collection of wedge plates over here. Then finally, this bag right here of the dark bluish gray pieces is actually filled with a couple more of these one by two uh, dark bluish gray plates also useful pieces i got a small bag with these one by one plates really ran out on those while building so it was really nice to have a little bit more of these pieces and then we got of course uh, these sort of one by one round studs with the hole in the, the in the middle over here so those are also really useful for something you're gonna really like for building the black gate of mordor and then this bag is actually filled with the one by three dark bluish gray plates over here. So also useful pieces for finishing off some landscaping. And then here's actually a little hole for, of course, building the towers. I actually used these tiles on the bottom of the towers. That was my design. And I think it really looks great. So I actually had to order a couple more of these. Forgot to do that back in the day. So why not now? I mean, I got to finish the towers anyway. So I'm really happy with all of the pieces from this Bricklink store. And I'm just going to go and sort everything. So we got the wedge plates over here. Just going to go and put all of the wedge plates in this area. We got the regular plates, which I'm actually going to put in the middle. So regular plates right over here, wedge plates over here. And then of course some black pieces on this side. I'm just gonna go and put the swords over here as well. So I got a lot of epic pieces. I got all of those slopes over there. We got the wedge plates. And finally over there, we got the bricks. We got the regular plates and some black pieces on this side of the table. So a lot of pieces already, but this was only the fifth package of my massive Lego Black Gate haul. So finally over here, actually, we got this awesome package and I'm really looking forward to know what's inside this package. This actually came in today, so it's really fresh. And I'm just gonna go and unbox it. So cut the side open. This is actually the same as the other packages, really nice and easy to open. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go and get the contents out. And this is actually a bag with the one by two bricks in blue color. Awesome pieces right over here. Then I got another bag with the bricks in one by, let me see here, the brick in blue color, of course, one by two. Wait, another bag. Let me see if there are other pieces inside this box over here. Just gonna go and get everything out so it's empty. So I got a lot of these bricks. I got one final bag of these one by two blue bricks in, of course, this awesome bag. And then finally over here, I actually got four bags 
of these one by one bricks in blue color. So also useful for finishing off some rock work and such because I actually ran out of these while building. So that's really useful. Then I got two of these bags, of course, the one by two bricks in dark bluish gray color. I don't know why the seller actually put these in two separate bags, but yeah, just easy, easy packaging, I think. I'm not complaining because I'm going to use these bags for, of course, my Lego collection. I actually frequently use these bags for, of course, just packaging my parts or just when I'm sorting some Lego. So that's definitely something I think is handy to use and I'm not complaining that he gave me an extra one. I definitely don't throw these bags away because that's just a waste of plastic. I mean, they really are just so useful for sorting Lego and even storing Lego minifigures. I mean, who's gonna throw these away? I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, that's just my opinion out there. If you have these bags, just keep them. And otherwise, if you're gonna throw them away, just give them to someone else who can use them because you can use this for anything. I mean, you can use these for Lego, for cooking, something else, just you can really use these bags. And I think they're definitely something useful. But as you can see, I actually got a lot of pieces laying around. I'm actually gonna go and put these pieces to the side because otherwise, you're not gonna be see the new pieces coming from the other packages. So I'm just gonna go and shove all of these pieces to the side. So as you can see, I created a little bit of space and I'm now actually gonna unbox a smaller package again. This is just a little cute box over here. I'm gonna just wrap it open on the top, cut of course the sides loose. And let me see here, oh, he actually, packaged it with a lot of plastic that's definitely something annoying yeah here's what i meant with of course it being hard to open these packages because you can actually not just pull this open without cutting the plastic because it's really sturdy so that's something i really just get annoyed by when i'm unboxing lego packages in front of the camera no 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 we got foams inside here oh my god <laughs> I'm actually sort of, well, I'm not allergic to the, these things, but when I, of course, just pick them up, I'm just gonna go and scream. I don't know, it's something I've had since my childhood. So I'm just gonna go and <laughs> just go and get everything out because I'm not gonna put my hand in here. We got some pieces, which I'm just gonna go and remove from the box. Oh God, no, ah, oh, I touched one, all right. Just gonna go and put everything inside of the box again. Let me see here. Oh, that feels just horrible. Oh, I hate this. All right, let's just do it. I'm doing this for the sake of all of you because I know you're gonna just laugh at me. Oh, no, no, no. This really just feels terrible. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's just something I've had for my entire childhood. I mean, Never liked those foams. I mean, they're really just weird. Let me know in the comment section down below if you hate those sort of packaging things too. I just can't stand them. The same as balloons actually. Really can't stand those. But I got these one by, let me see here. We got the one by two by three height inverted slopes. I actually got two of these bags. So a lot of these pieces and I was desperately low on these pieces actually. So I had to get a lot more. And that's why I actually ordered a lot of these. And don't be mistaken by these pieces. These are actually really pricey if you wanna get a high quantity of these. Now you could say, well, Brickley, just buy these pieces from different stores in low quantities, but then you're gonna to have to deal with massive amounts of shipping costs. And I just don't want to pay those. So I had to sacrifice a little bit more money for these pieces. So I hope this is enough for building the rock work. And then I got these at one by three, let me see here, inverted slopes over here. Sometimes I have to think about the pieces, but these are just inverted slopes. So I got a lot of these inverted slopes within this hole. And those are really just the missing pieces because I have regular slopes and a lot of other pieces, but I didn't have enough of those inverted slopes for building and finishing the rock work. So I certainly hope that this is gonna be enough and yeah, if it's not enough, I'm just gonna have to be a little bit uh, more an improviser when I'm gonna build my Lego. But next up, we actually got the 
eighth package over here. So I'm just gonna go and cut the top open and it looks like that this package is gonna be a little bit easier to open. Let's just go ahead and wrap it open on. Oh, you gotta, of course, wrap this over here, cut it open as well, cut this side open and then I can easily open it. So let's see what's inside over here. This is actually from Bricks for Miles over here. Funny name, because this actually, I don't know where this came from, but really happy that I got this. Just gonna go and show you the box over here. A lot of these wedge plates as well. So just gonna go and let me see here. Yeah, this is everything inside. Just gonna go and put the paper back inside and show you what's inside over here. So I got these three by six wedge plates in, of course, dark bluish gray color. These actually point towards the right side. So those are also really useful pieces. Definitely happy with that. And I actually slowed down a little bit just now because I actually was checking if my camera was recording. It didn't really show the icon, but it's recording, thank God. All right, otherwise I have to do all of this over again and I don't want to do, oh, well, of course, this this just comes loose like that, all right. Let's show, just go ahead and take this out and I got this, let me see here, the three by eight wedge plates in dark bluish gray color pointing to the right, so really useful pieces. And this bag over here is filled with the smaller wedge plates, actually the two by uh, three wedge plates pointing to the right as well. So these pieces are really useful for building everything and I'm really happy with that. So I'm just going to go and put these to the side as well. And finally over here, I got this little bag with the flag poles as well, also useful. And then over here, actually two more bags, which I'm just going to go and open. So this bag actually includes these one by one dark bluish gray plates, useful, always useful for detailing, of course, the landscaping, but also using when you're sort of missing one stud within the rock work. Then over here, uh, we got these two by one plates and the one by three plates over here, also useful pieces. Got some other pieces in this bag. For example, we also get these two by two plates in dark bluish gray color got a couple of those for of course filling in some gaps within my landscaping i got these one let me see here the two by two by four slopes pointing to the left in dark bluish gray color and then the final bag of this package we got these flags over here the banners for my mortar orc flags really looking forward to that i got the two by three Plates in dark bluish gray color. We got the two by four dark bluish gray wedge plates pointing to the right as well. So that's everything from this package. My God, I have a lot of pieces. I didn't know I ordered this much. It's well over 10,000 parts, I believe. But I'm just gonna go and grab the final package over here. Yes, it's a bit more heavy, but we're just gonna go and cut it open. I hope this is gonna be easy because it doesn't look like it. I mean, there's some plastic over here. Well, we're just gonna go and cut it open. I'm not really gonna cut all the plastic, so just cut everything open. And yeah, we got some bubble wrapping over here. This actually came from Asia. So it's really packed well because it went overseas and such. So really looking forward to what's inside of here. Just gonna go and get everything out. Yeah, I believe that was everything. We got this package over here with the choking hazard warning over here. So yeah, this isn't for children under three years. Well, luckily I am a scene, so I won't have to worry about that. All right, we're gonna go and take a look at what's inside. Yeah, a lot of pieces. I believe these are for Minas Morgul even. So I'm just gonna go and cut it. Well, actually I don't have to cut it open. Maybe I do, yeah, I do. I'm just gonna go and grab my pair of scissors and Try to cut it open over here. Actually had to pay a little bit of money to receive this package, I believe. So 
yeah, it came overseas and usually you're gonna have to pay a little bit of money for the customs when it actually comes in uh, at the border of your country. So that is really a shame, of course, from Bricklink that you always have to pay some sort of customs or extra shipping costs when it comes from another country. But yeah, it's really just an effective way of buying pieces. Man, is there an end to this? Wow, all right, yeah, I can just go and open it over here. Just gonna go and grab these. Oh yeah, this is a lot of Lego. <laughs> this is a lot of Lego, everyone. This is even more than I actually unboxed just now from all of my other packages. So I'm just gonna go and get the bags out of the packaging material. Whoa, all right. Didn't expect this from this small package. Let's just go ahead and get the packaging off. So three bags of Lego. We're just gonna go and go through all the pieces which I got from this haul. So first of all, just gonna go and start with the biggest bag, which is this bag right here. This is a bag filled with these one by six light bluish gray bricks and these are going to be used for the walls of Minas Morgul and you might be wondering well Minas Morgul was sort of uh, of course green well it actually was a gray sort of castle actually before I believe uh, the Witch King of Angmar took it over it was sort of white-ish something like that but it was actually gray in the movie and it had a sort of green glow to it so that is why I decided to buy these one by six light bluish gray pieces and why I decided to build everything within of course light bluish gray so yeah that's that's just a decision I've made because it's really just easier to get these pieces in light bluish gray color and there are a lot of pieces which you can actually not get in, of course, the, the sand green color, which is frequently used in, of course, uh, the Lego the Lord of the Rings theme. But yeah, I couldn't get any round pieces in sand green, so that is why I went with a light bluish gray. But yeah, we got this second bag over here. As you can see, it's really filled with a lot of awesome pieces. So I'm just going to go and open this and as you can see this is the bag I'm I mentioned earlier I use these bags for just storing my minifigures maybe even for Mordor orcs or clone armies they're really useful so I just keep every single bag I get from my holes so over here we get this bag with the two by two by three height slopes in black color really useful pieces we got some sand green slopes over here I got the two by two bricks in, of course, a light bluish gray color. A lot of these arch pieces in light bluish gray color. I believe the the one by four by two height. And we got these sort of. Uh, let me see here. We got these arch pieces also for Minas Morgul. Just imagine everything over here is for Minas Morgul. Over here I got these one by four bricks. Let me show you. Oh, in of course black color over here. Those are for the top of Men of Morgul, so the, on the top of the wall actually with all of those black sort of walls and spikes. We got these a dark tan, we got some brown and black plates over here, also useful pieces. And then finally within this bag, I actually got a lot of these, what is this actually? Let me see. Oh yeah, we got these wedge, uh, let me see here, no, no wedge plates, we got these inverted slopes in black color, so a lot of these actually, let me show you here, you can't really see it that, that great, but I mean, really a nice package over here, I'm really happy with all these pieces, and I definitely think that I can start building Minas Morgul pretty soon when I've finished building the black gate so that's definitely something epic and this bag is actually filled with a lot of different pieces as well just gonna go and get the contents out over here so let me see this is actually from DD Bricks so really happy with that DD Bricks from of course Bricklink now this isn't any promotion or anything I paid for all of these pieces just wanted to show you where I got this so these one by four Dark bluish gray tiles over here, useful pieces. I got a lot of these spikes for Minas Morgul. A couple of torch pieces, some brown pieces as well. We got some barrels over here for, of course, the orcs and such to put their weaponry in. A couple more of these boxes, which I'm also going to use for the interior of Minas Morgul. The one by one studs in a brown color. 
we got the one by one bricks in red color, some inverted slopes in dark blues gray color, the one by twos, awesome pieces. Then over here, I got these tiles in dark blues gray color. I believe these are one by eights or something. And we got a lot of these bricks with the studs on the sides and just some random bricks with some of those grips over here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the grips, as you can see. So useful pieces. A little bag with a lot of random pieces. Got some chains. Got this translucent, translucent piece, actually, the green translucent piece over here. Really useful. Some, some swords, actually, and just some random pieces. I don't know. We got some of these weird pieces over here. We got some rock pieces, which are truly looking amazing, in my opinion. Love these rock pieces. Definitely got to use more of these in my future Let Go the Lord of the Rings projects. I'm really learning a lot of rock building techniques, so I might even use this brick over here a lot more in the future. So we got some of these black pieces as well, just some random pieces. A lot of these flag poles, we got some cell doors over here, some chests and such, and this big box over here. So a lot of useful pieces as well. And I got this bag with the teeth actually in black color, Lego teeth for creatures. So these are gonna be for the walls of Minas Morgul. The one by one sort of cylinders with actually the pyramid type of shape to actually edge off to the bottom. So a sort of singular uh, cylinder slope. We got some of these spikes over here, which I also got a lot of. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we got some of these one by two black slopes, the smooth slopes, the smaller ones. I got these sort of one by two by two height black slopes in this bag, also useful pieces. I got these, let me see here, the, the inverted light bluish gray slopes. Just gonna go and bump up the speed of showing you the parts. The two by two dark bluish gray slopes, got a lot of those. The one by two black slopes, two by two black plates. A lot of these random bricks over here. We got this bag filled with the plate corner pieces in black color, so also useful pieces. One by four red bricks over here. We got a couple of these dark bluish gray plates. Dark bluish gray plates again, bigger ones. A lot of these dark tan, brown, light bluish gray, and dark bluish gray plates over here. Also useful pieces. Black plates. We've got more plates over here, random pieces. Some wedge plates as well. Got these sort of pieces with the grip on the side. And I got these one by three dark bluish gray pieces. Uh, the, of course, the plates, also useful. Got these slopes over here, a lot of different slopes. One in sand green color, a couple of light bluish grays, and of course, it's black. And over here, I got this bag filled with these inverted black slopes. A couple of these edge pieces, also gonna be used for Minas Morgul. And then something interesting over here, actually these pieces right over here are going to be used for, of course, the walls of Minas Morgul. Got these inverted 2x2 two two slopes. Then finally over here, I'm just getting tired of showing you all of these pieces. So right over here, we got the 1x2 black pieces. So also useful. This is really piling up over here. Just a, a big pile of pieces in, of Lego. We got these one by two light blue gray bricks with, of course, the studs on the side. Just going to show you this bag right here, the one by three red bricks. We got these pieces, which are going to be sort of hinge pieces for the walls. So a lot of those. Got some black plates, the, let me see here, two by six black plates. Over here, I got these round pieces for walls of Minas Morgul, also really useful. I believe this is for the Ethil Tower, so that's also pretty epic. And over here, the final two bags from this big bag are actually the, the black bricks over here. The I believe the one by 10 bricks and a lot of these one by one plates in black color with these grips on the sort of side. So those are also gonna be useful for of course, attaching spikes to the walls. So yeah, that's actually everything. So right now I'm just gonna go 
and show you the entire overview of this haul. So here are all of the pieces I got in this huge Lego brick link hole. I got a ton of pieces to use for my battle at the Black Gate Mock. I got a bunch of these inverted slopes, some of these plates and such over here. Then going on to, of course, this entire area, which is filled with these wedge plates. So those are also going to be useful. I got a row of these wedge plates pointing to the left over. Over here and a couple of them over here on this side pointing to the right so I got both directions which are definitely going to be useful to switch up the wedge plates within my landscaping behind and of course in front of the black gate so I'm really looking forward to using those pieces and of course these plates right here are going to be used for sort of detailing the area behind the black gate which I'm actually going to show you right now just quick over here. I'm gonna use these pieces to actually continue using them right over here because it's actually quite an empty plane so far and I need to use this to sort of make sure that everything is gonna look a lot better. So that's why I had to order a lot of these pieces right here. But I got a lot of those pieces. I got a bunch of these. Let me see here, we got these regular bricks in blue color, the one by twos, the one by ones. We got, of course, also these one by two bricks in dark bluish gray color. Then moving on to these three massive bags over here. These are actually all for bin building Minas Morgul in Lego. So these are gonna be put into this box right here. But this actually is a full box, so I have to improvise a bit, maybe even use a bigger box for storing that. Uh, these awesome bags right here. I mean, I got a lot of these light bluish gray pieces, so I'm just gonna go and figure out where I'm gonna store all of those pieces until I start building Minas Morgul in Lego. And then over here, finally, we got a couple of random bags. Of course, these tiles, a couple of these flags, the, the banners actually, and just some random pieces from my hole over here. So I'm really happy with all of the pieces I got in this hole. And you might not believe it, but there are actually four packages which I've still not received. So I still got to receive and unbox four packages. And those packages are actually gonna be the last packages I'm gonna buy before, of course, New Year. So that's definitely something epic to look forward to. I'm really looking forward to unbox those packages and those are going to be my final lego packages of the year so i really look forward to just receiving those lego parts so i can build a lot more within my black gate and minas morgul mock so i'm really looking forward to that so as you can see i actually moved all of the bigger bags containing the pieces for my lego minas morgul mock to this box over here so i'm just gonna go and put all of the parts which are still gonna arrive on this sort of pile within this box and it's gonna fall out sometimes but probably not because this is quite sturdy over here so I can just move it around like this and it won't fall out so that's the sort of sturdy sort of storage compartment for my Minas Morgul pieces so I'm really going to use those soon when I've of course finished building the Black Gate of Mordor which is still something I need to do but as you can see there's just a lot of junk on my table many packages which I really need to sort of course for uh, recycling all the paper and such and the cardboard and I already put a couple of these smaller packages in this box so I can use them in the future so that's really something I wanted to do but as always I'm gonna go and end this video by shouting out your quotes from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. So right now, I'm just gonna go and shout out your quotes you commented underneath the comment section of episode 20 of Building Mordor in Lego. So right over here to begin with, we got a quote by Ethan Weedle. Come on, Mr. Frodo. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Awesome quote right there by Samwise Gamgee. And over here we got a quote by Sheaf Palpatine, the black hand called out to me from across the void, and I came from Celebrimbor. Awesome quote right there. We got a quote by Kekaj, 
96. Dubakar, I believe that's from the Dwarves or something. Potatoes by Darth Vader over here. James Pickles, I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish that none of this had happened. So do all who live, who live to such, see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given you. Awesome quote right there. You shall not pass by Gandalf over here, commented by Owen Wright. We got a quote by Joel Burkle, of course, for uh, the mouth of Sauron over here. Actually quite funny because I set up the scene with the mouth of Sauron over here. Actually just the mouth of Sauron in front of the Black Gate. That is quite coincidental. And over here, finally, of course, we got another quote. You cannot hide. I see you. There is no life in the void. Only death by, of course, Sauron. And this was commented by Friedrich Carlson over there. So thank you for commenting that. This is no mere ranger. He is Aragorn, son of Adathorn. You owe him your allegiance. Commented by Lonely Boy. Just going to go and search for some other quotes. Let me see here. There should, there should be another quote. Yeah, over here. But Thor's love of gold had grown too fierce. A sickness had begun to grow within him. And where sickness thrives, bad things will follow. Awesome quote right there. Commented by Oof Meme over there. Awesome quote right there. I believe that was everything in the comment section of, of course, the quotes. Let me see here. Oh, over here we got a, a comment by Bob Smith. Potatoes. Boil them. Mash them. Stick them in a stew. Awesome right there. Really like that. Really like that quote. And I believe that was everything with the quotes. Oh, right over here. He will help us or he will kill us, of course, when they were near Bayorn's house. Of course, Bayorn was the, the sort of man who could turn into a bear within the Hobbit movie. But yeah, that was actually everything. So those were all of the quotes you commented in the comment section of episode 20. And if you want your quote to be featured in the next episode, episode 22 of Building Mordor in Lego, I suggest you go and comment your favorite quote of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit in the comment section down below. And yeah, I have a lot of cleaning up to do, so that's actually what I'm going to do right now off camera. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching me unbox yet another haul and there's going to be plenty more hauls in the future so if you did enjoy watching this video of course let me know by leaving a like to support this go subscribe to brickly if you are new to my channel go join hashtag team brickly and of course ring that notification bell to stay updated on when i post any lego videos and i'll see you all in episode 22 of building Mordor in Lego. It's in the air, like a blazing flare.